During Friday's meeting of the NMU Board of Trustees, Board Member Robert Mahaney addressed a potential conflict of interest. Mahaney is the president and founder of Veridia Group, LLC. His company has a couple of hotels that have contracts with the university for discounted rooms. Mahaney says he's never negotiated any of those contracts and has no knowledge of them. Mahaney brought the situation to NMU's legal counsel, who investigated the matter to see if he violated any laws. It was determined that there was no conflict of interest. It's really important for us that whenever there's a potential conflict, like with a board member, that we address it openly. If we didn't do things like this, we would never have anybody from Marquette and the Upper Peninsula on our board because everybody does business with us in one way or another. During President Erickson's report to the board, he mentioned that there is a plan to renovate the university center. We need a facility that really engages our students more than this does, but also engages with our community. And so our plan is to add a 900 plus seat auditorium <laughs> and uh, a set of meeting rooms uh, to expand the meeting rooms that we have up here and to really create a place for our students and their organizations to be and to work. Erickson says the cost of the project is expected to be between 17 and 18 million dollars. Also at the board meeting, Scott Holman was elected as board chairman, replacing Sook Wilkinson, whose term with the board expires at the end of the year. The board chair is an important uh, leadership position and I think that we've got some challenges ahead of us and so I'm looking forward to working on enrollment with the president and, and, the, and the staff and the rest of the board. I'm definitely planning to continue my friendship with everybody and my relationship with the university in whatever way I can. And it's been such a pleasure and privilege for me to have been a part of the community. Wilkinson and Garnet Lewis are both done with the board come December 31st. They were recognized for the years of service to the university. NMU is now waiting on Governor Rick Snyder to appoint three new trustees to the board to replace Wilkinson, Lewis, and Thomas Zerbukin, who resigned earlier this year. But as, you, as you've seen today, this is a very close-knit board. They support one another. They, they have a unified commitment to support the university. And we expect the same thing will happen with new appointees.